Hey, Switchhead, how's it going? Kanan here. Hope you're all well, and welcome to my review of Tribal Pass. Versus this self-proclaimed hardcore runner and resource management got what it takes to get onto the Wall of Fame or the Wall of Shame, or maybe somewhere in the middle. As usual, hit that link down below to take you to our community Discord. Come for the chat, stay for the streaming. And if you enjoy any of my content, well, you know what to do. Gameplay. Okay, so as I said before, Tribal Pass is a top-down kind of runner, a hardcore runner, as they said, and yes, I'd probably agree with them. As well as actually just running in a set direction, you have to then use the trigger buttons to kind of like move the actual people or the cavemen around as there are lots of obstacles and things you need to collect on the actual screen. And to this end, you are actually moving them into little clumps of actual groups. And the further out they go, the more groups you get. And this can help you sort of like traverse things like bridges and the like. And then because everything's in different order, you can bring them in and eventually have them all grouped together. You do have a head shaman and that's who leads. So within the actual game, you have like creatures that can kill you and different pickups and power ups. You also have to manage your food. If you don't have enough food, your people will start dying and that's never good for anyone. But in the actual pickups and the actual power up type things, you can pick up something so that you can, as far as I can gather, eat your own people, which will keep the others surviving and living for longer. As well as that, you also get things like spears and fire. So when you have, have like nighttime runs, you can use that and you can see where you're going better. There are actual leaderboards to this game as well. I just need to mention this now because they weren't actually working as time of recording. I would think this is probably due to the fact the game hadn't been released yet though. Anywho, the actual game when you're playing it and you pick up these like special bonus things or power up type things you can use them with the actual x a b y buttons so it kind of like helps that when you're actually on the fly you can just press a button and the thing activates itself when taking down animals you have to have a certain amount of actual people or cavemen to actually help you take it down so if you've only got like a few people in a group you have to group up in order to take something bigger out and obviously if there's food like scattered around you have to just keep pinging yourself in and out of these groups in order to get the food after the actual run you get put into like a map section and then you have to pick kind of like which direction you want to go in and this little map area also gives you information like, you know, how much food you got left, how many people you got left, and your shaman level, which I think if it's higher, you get better things or your bonuses work better or something. Certain aspects of the game kind of like wasn't explained as much as I would have liked, but I think that's probably what you're looking at here. Now I have to admit I wasn't very good on this actual game and I kind of, even though I played it for quite a while, not really got too far into it. But I do know that you want to look at this map and actually look at what's actually in these levels before you actually take off. Because like you can get things like pestilence, you know, and I think that turns your food rancid, which means that you can't eat it or it doesn't have as good an effect or it just kills your characters off. But you can also look for different food sources as long as you've got the people to take them down or just to avoid as much of the actual bad enemies like rhinos or lions and things like that as you can by taking a different route. Graphically, I kind of looked at it and thought these aren't really the best graphics, but when I actually played the game, I thought, well, actually, what more do you actually need? I really don't think anyone coming into this sort of game is gonna really pick bones out of the actual graphics themselves whilst they're actually trying to do everything that's actually here in their bid to just survive. As for the audio, it's definitely got that kind of vibe of the tribal drums and and kind of like music in the background as well as that you have like different little sounds as you're actually playing the game like the like the plague bees and things like that and also you'll probably hear your characters dying quite a bit going oh oh it kind of serves to do what it really needs to do and nothing more in that sort of like aspect the good it's got a really hardcore experience to it it's unique in what it actually brings, which is cool. And after a while, you do actually get into it, and I did do a lot better the longer I played it. 
the bad and the longer I played it I still sucked at it I think people coming into it for a little runner that they can just enjoy is probably going to be disappointed because it is literally for hardcore players I believe the controls can get a little bit fiddly now and again in the heat of the moment the score okay so I'm gonna give this a three out of five a kind of just above average I think three out of five because it did bring some things to me that were like different and I didn't really see in many other like running games it just felt really really hard to play and really really difficult but for the price I'm not really gonna grumble about it to be honest because I think it's priced really well for what you actually get here as for my alternative, well as I said I've not had anything like this before so this is going to be a difficult one and probably slightly off the mark. So I'm going to simply suggest Bit Trip Runner which is a fun little running game side scrolling like platform type thing that does add a few nice little touches to the actual genre. And to that, what of your thoughts? Will you be picking up Tribal Pass or will you be letting it just fade into the history books? <laughs> See what I did there, kind of. Leave it all down in the comments because that's where it belongs. And if you want, come and join us in our community Discord where we do many different streamings each and every week all with the community and we always have fun or we'll just come for a chat that's fine as well and as always feel free to do what you know what you must do if you've enjoyed any of my content because life is better when we switch together